Hey everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to do a little supplementary video on uh, the rigid flip top stand that uh, I put together. Anyways, I, I wanted to do something with the original top. And so that's what I did. The other top that I built, I wasn't able to install the truck uh, both ways, meaning the front end of the truck in my right hand or my left hand when I set it up here and I wanted to do something like that and so I took the original top I went down to uh, the local metal workshop picked me up another piece of 8 inch by 8 inch flat metal which is a little thick, a little heavy uh, if a guy can get a hold of some 12 gauge steel that'd probably work better or even a piece of aluminum the dimensions on this top piece uh, that I added to it is that 8 inch by 8 inch by 21 inches and so that's the size you need. I went ahead and uh, bent up each piece uh, to get those bends right. I put the, the metal on a box, set the truck on the metal, marked my corners where I wanted them, flipped the truck around 180, marked the corners again because I wanted this one to be ambidextrous, meaning I could put the truck on right to left or left to right, wouldn't matter. And then I used the most outer marks to bend these. And you got to remember when you're heating this and bending it, you got a radius that's going to take up some of your room. So move to the outside of your line, you know, at least 8 inch, 3 sixteenths. 8 inch will probably work fine, that's what I did. And then I went ahead and also rounded these corners uh, so I'm not banging up my chassis every time I put the truck up here. A guy could also use some uh, plastic dip and uh, cover these in some, some rubberized material or something if you wanted to. Tape them. A lot of things will work. Uh, to attach the, the metal to the original top piece, all I did was rivet it on. You can use bolts, uh, rivets have a lot smaller footprint on the top so that when I decide to glue this mat down, all I got to do is recess some holes in here with a Forstner bit and this will set flat on those uh, without any bumps. Right now I got bumps because I don't have those holes in yet. In my haste to get this done, I did not get this top piece painted as well, so I'll probably have to knock these rivets off and paint it, and then re-rivet the top. What's nice about using the stock top is you still have all your original angles, your 45. You can fold it up flat, uh, however you want to work it. 45 works pretty good if you got to get to the axles or working on one side of the truck. Uh, tire wise holds the truck pretty solid in that position it ain't going anywhere put the pin in make sure it doesn't rock back on you pretty solid anyways I just wanted to reiterate uh, on the stock top here if a guy chooses to use that stock top you just need a piece of metal stick it to the top somehow, bolt it or rivet it like I did, bend the corners up uh, to match the truck. Again, I did it, uh, I marked it both ways, so it doesn't matter which way I put the truck on. Anyways, hopefully this helps someone out. Thanks.